Spend less time in the laundry room and more time doing the things you love. Introducing the Samsung Smart Top Load Laundry Pair, now available at Lowe's. The washer's large capacity means you can fit more in every load. Plus, its super speed setting washes a full load in only 28 minutes. Shop the smart washer that will streamline laundry day, backed by Lowe's Price Promise. Based on using super speed on a normal cycle with an 8-pound load, terms apply. See Lowe's.com slash price promise for details. U.S. only. That's the ease at which you get information. You're always connected and informed. So if you're diabetic and still using old technology and finger sticks, what are you waiting for? U.S. Med carries the highest quality continuous glucose monitors, which provide real-time readings of blood glucose levels. U.S. Med is an approved provider for Medicare and over 500 private insurers. Visit usmed.com slash radio today. That's usmed.com slash radio today. And manage your diabetes as easy as... Hey, this is BJ. Thanks for listening to our show's podcast. If you're a fan of all things geeky, you should check out my other podcast, BJ Shea's Geek Nation. We have new episodes every day, and you can check it out at BJGeekNation.com. Your driver's license is important so you can get back and forth to work, get your kids to school, and back and forth to daycare. If your license has been suspended because you can't pay your tickets, you can't do any of those things. Let's talk about Chapter 13 bankruptcy. You may have heard the tickets cannot be discharged, but they can be dealt with in a Chapter 13 case. Why not come in for a free consultation? The chapter you choose will make all the difference to your getting back legally on the road. Let's design a plan to pay off your tickets and restore your license immediately. I'm attorney Travis Gagné. Please contact me today at ChooseTheRightChapter.com. That's ChooseTheRightChapter.com. 99.9 KISW, The Rock of Seattle. Well, I, I, this story is hard for me to believe, but I guess it is happening. According to new research, people are still using very, very easy-to-hack passwords. It's so funny because we just uh, had to take one of those, you know, our company always shows videos for us to watch to teach us how to be better at oh, yeah. stuff. And I just watched the video about passwords and protection, and, you know, the people in the videos are morons. Yes. And, and I'm thinking, yeah. I hate these videos. I clicked on this and I filled out all of the information. Oh, I know. And I'm just like, what? First of all, wouldn't you just fire those people in your company that are in those videos? I would. I'd fire every single one of those morons because they don't even know that basic stuff. No, the video would then have gone into a, it would have switched from being a security video to an HR video because I would have probably made fun of them. Uh, we'd, we'd just <laughs> call them idiots and all the, all the silly names in the book. Nothing like, you know. Hate filled, but just, just yeah. you're a moron. Because I just don't believe those people exist, and yet that video seems to be spot on. Because uh, of the 200 worst passwords, uh, the best one of the worst one is one two three four five six. That is the most commonly used. Oh, good, because I use one two three four five six seven. Yeah. Exclamation point. Two point. <laughs> That's still good, right? Got them. Yeah. Two point <laughs> five million people this year use that as their password. Well, here's the th- okay. So recently, and Danny and I were just talking about this. I don't know. It, ha- it must have happened with the iPhone up. Date, but now they like warn you to like you know your password might have been compromised and like they put the fear of God in you. Yeah, and I'm just like you need to change everything. And at first I was panicking, and I'm like, well, the password is very unless you know me, you're not really going to be able to figure it out. But on top of it, it's for like it's for like Shutterfly or something random like that. Like you know, like I don't really there's if certain somebody hacks into that. What do you care? Right, there's certain things that I have like that I that I need a password for because they told me I need a password and I just made the dumbest password. Almost on par with like password being the password. It's not, but you know what I mean? Because I know like there's no financial information attached to this. There's nothing. Right. So have fun hacking into this. It does, uh, it, you know, like easy passwords like one, two, three, four, five, six take a less than a second to crack with those encryption programs or, or de encryption programs. That's the thing. They're not trying to guess what you do. They just have computer algorithms that are so good at just predicting yeah. things that it doesn't matter what you think. It just matters, well, how easy is it for the computer to break it down with all the, with, with all the possibilities it runs through in such a quick time. But in the, in the early days of the internet, I was guilty of it. I thought I was so clever having password as my password. <laughs> yeah. No one will guess that. Right. And well, I was like, well, I need to fix it. All right. Password 69 or nice. password 420. There you go. No, but I'll ever figure <laughs> right. Steve out. Steve loves the booty. Yeah. Uh, that might be a tough one. I will say, Steve, that your password, one two three four five six seven, uh, uh-huh. not in the top ten. See? One ah, two three four five safe. six seven eight. 
nine oh, is number okay. two. Oh, wow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight is number five. Oh, my gosh. Uh, one, two, three, four, five is mm-hmm. number eight, but nobody, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero is number t- nine, but nobody has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You are unique. Flawless execution there, Steve. Yeah, good job, buddy. Well, like, for our, our work, we had to have, like, a, a password on our phone, which I hate, because it's like, I don't oh, need yeah. to have this, like, but I get why for security purposes, but that password is, like, the dumbest one. I remember my wife's like, hey, how do I get into your phone? I tell her, and she's like, that's your password? And I'm like, yeah. And it's just like, I don't yeah. care. Yeah, she is, yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, picture one is one that people do. Picture in the number one. Picture one? Picture one. I don't understand. Uh, that's the password for that's the top, that's the third top password that most people use in this country. But why? Picture, I don't know. I'm with you. I don't understand that one. Picture one. Picture one. I don't know. I don't I, know. I, I, I don't know why I'm saying it faster, thinking they'll give me the answer to this. But yeah, you feel like one. you feel like there's something there that should make it easy to remember because I don't would I th- 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 I don't get why somebody thinks that's easy to remember. Does but anyone I, have a, a picture one? one? Yeah. Well, they do say that you should add like you know like uh, numbers at the end of it, so it seems just like hey, yeah. I'm looking around my office. There's a picture, and I need a number one. Yeah. Like that literally is just the thing that I'm thinking of on that. A, a lot of people must be doing it for it to be number three, Rev. I also thought it was clever for a while. Was, uh, mine was captcha. <laughs> that, oh, that you're like, like the, the captcha, the, oh, the, the captcha thing you have to type in. Yeah. Oh, you're good. <laughs> yeah, the robots will never get in with yeah. that one. Oh, that was try. also one. I'm not a robot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Password is number four. Of course it is. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I already told you it was one two three four five six seven eight. What uh, about backwards? Like six five four three two one. Like something ooh, like that. You know, that's the one you're trying to call Jenny, right? Uh, eight six seven five three zero nine. How yeah. come that's not on here? So I said, Biggs, I know your password. It's sixty nine sixty nine sixty nine. Almost. Almost. 420 exclamation point. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and Dong's got to be in there written somewhere. Well, I got rid of that because someone said major password of Dong Lover 69 isn't too secure. Oh, it isn't? Oh, okay. <laughs> How about this one? Uh, number six in the list, 111111. Oh. Yeah, six ones. Oh, you How just, about that? Oh, that's hard, though, because you have to remember how many ones you have, or right. you're just putting it in like eight times, and then you're like, well, I got the wrong number amount, now I'm locked out. See, and, that's why and, the hackers and, will never get it. And is it capitalized or is it not? That's what I'm confused about. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, how about... Made you uh, look. <laughs> yeah, I did. I did like, look. How do you capitalize a one? I'm like, that's what I was about to ask. I'm I like, was about to yell about? at you, and I'm like, oh, he's being Steve. I'm just being a douche. He's being Steve. <laughs> Now, here's number 10. See if you can guess why number 10 is number 10. I hate my ex. I hate... No? Well, I was going to tell you what number 10 is. Oh. Because it's... I, I'm going to see if you can guess why, because you don't you don't know this word. Senha. S-E-N-H-A. Senha? Senha. That is the number 10 password. I will give you a clue. This is not an English word. Senha. And this that is, is that, really surprising. Is that a tie? Uh, it is not, not Spanish. It okay, is, so that not like send me yeah. is a dish that my wife likes. It is not Thai. <laughs> it is not Spanish. This is again. This is the tenth most popular word used for people's passwords in uh, 2020, um, and uh, it is Portuguese. Huh. Now you would not get this at all, but. Since it's a foreign word, and you know it would have to be something that you could possibly get, you know, like if you know how to play trivia games, I wouldn't ask you this question if you possibly couldn't get it. Is it Portuguese? There you go. Sir. That is stupid. Oh, I thought it was picture one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> See, Rev, you, play, you, 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 yeah. Ken, you did the Ken Jennings method. Exactly. I'm yeah. a scholar of Jeopardy. Yeah, so there you go. Yeah, Senha is the Portuguese word for password. And I guess I guess a lot of Portuguese speaking people have decided like the rest of us well, American idiots. Just as dumb as us. Yeah. The the internet is global, everybody, so you kinda But well, if yeah, I ever end up in uh, Portugal, I'll be like, You guys are dumb as us, huh? <laughs> and they're gonna go, Yeah, we're yep. real happy about that. <laughs> Wait, Thanks. We're, we're really one, like, that. I think you do it because I remember like whenever like you do like the work based ones that are shared, and I know our work does it too from time to time. I always have the hardest time though when like somebody is doing like a password. Let's just say it's like poop, and it's P O zero P. Oh and yeah. I'm like oh man. Uh. Or like instead of using an E, they use a three. Yeah. Yes. Well, and and I passed our thing because we've been doing this, uh, and it was a trick question. They asked trick questions, those stupid uh, videos we have to do. There's one question in the whole video. Well, yes, but they give you multiple choice, and those oh. multiple, those answers are tough because they're I always similar. Go with the last one, typically, that's always right. Yeah, yeah you weren't right. That, you weren't right with this latest one. Yeah, yeah, it was. I got it right. Oh, I took two. I did two videos. Yeah, one, I had to do two as well. Yeah, one was the last one, and one wasn't the last one. 
Oh. Yeah, oh. so yeah, exactly. That was like, oh, they're going to be both of these. She's like, I don't know. I don't know. Whatever, whatever I did, I passed. So yeah. I'm good, guys. Oh, good you, job. Yeah, Not a big you, deal. You, so you did the one that was the last one. Yeah. But they say that you should use phrases. So your password should be a phrase. Like like Steve is a genius, but then just, you know, use capitals and all, you know, backward three, whatever, you know, threes and whatever you can use. I's instead of, you know, ones instead of I's. Steve's the best booty grabber. Exclamation point. Okay. Four yeah. Point. That's Four apparently. <laughs> That's apparently make it, it makes it tough. Vicky hates my passwords because it's usually something we can remember, but it's a phrase and it has lots of characters in there. And, and it's they, usually an insult towards me. Yeah. yeah. Or yeah. me. Yeah. 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 Uh, but you know what? That this just means he cares. Yeah. yeah. Aww. Yeah, I care about you guys. And it rotates. I'll just, you know, pick new passwords and pick a person on the show and say something insulting via the password. You know what I hate oh, more often than happens is I screw up, like, writing in the password. I fat fingered or something, and I instantly panic. So I'm like, change password. Like, I hit the button that says I lost my password. And then I go fill out all the stuff, and it's like, okay, enter your new password. And I entered a new password. And it says, sorry, but this is already the password you need to oh, so no. I'm like, oh, right? I that. Oh, my gosh. I'm so stupid. Or yeah. or you can't use a password you previously used before. Yep. And I'm like, oh, am I that predictable? Yes. yes. <laughs> 1,000%. My wife laughs because she knows how to figure out all of mine. Like, she's decoded everything. Oh, She's boy. like, she needs to get on my Dropbox. She's like, let me guess. This is the password. I'm like, how do you know? She's like... Because you're stupid, and you do the same thing for every single one of them. It's something vulgar, and then some numbers that mean something to you, and and then a, and like a random character. <laughs> I, lo- I love your wife because she's got you figured out. Yes, you know she really has. She still doesn't know the Xfinity password, though. Oh yeah, yeah. oh that's your special password. That's the one that can't be cracked. That's the one I keep meaning to change because there ever comes a time where she needs it, it's going to be very embarrassing. <laughs> really, oh, very. oh yeah. nice. Like, it's like oh, it's we really need to have vulgar. a conversation. It's how super vulgar, vulgar it is! Yes. Oh boy, it was the same one I used for when I had season tickets for the Seahawks. And oh, they, that's horrible that the Seahawks got to see your vulgar password. Yes, dude, I know because I had to do something with them, and they were sending me tickets. And the lady's like, "Well, here, I'll send you the tickets in case you don't have it. Here's your pat your, your username and password." And she wrote it out, and I'm like, "Oh no!" I've never been more mortified. She wrote out your vulgar like, password. It was about. Body parts, <laughs> and it was bad, BJ. It was really what, bad. What was her look on her face? Did I she don't keep... know. It was over email. Oh, you're lucky you didn't have to see her face. But like, I used to have a pretty decent like working relationship with that person. Like, if like I needed to buy tickets, she would help me out. Oh, and all of a sudden, never heard back from her. Again. Oh, I'm positive it was because of the password. <laughs> oh, it had to be. Yeah, yeah, it had, crazy. especially because I know I've seen some of your stuff. It's awful. Yes, and, but that's uh, how I remember it. It's not like I'm trying to be a perv. No, no, you, t- you don't why, you don't have to try. <laughs> but I never you thought, are. I never thought they'd have access to it. I thought that's the whole point. It's special to me. Yeah, <laughs> well, I guess oh, it is oh, special, yeah, it's to special to you, <laughs> per repeat. Yeah, I believe I'm I'm banned from uh, Lumen Field. Yeah, well, there's definitely a note on your account. Yeah, there, there surely dude, is. Dude, there's no account anymore. Dude, there's probably <laughs> canceled that account. There's probably a note with the authorities actually after that password. I couldn't believe it. I was like, oh my gosh. Yeah. Yeah, because at first I saw it and I was like, "Why is she writing that to me?" So do you? And then I realized, "Oh my god, that's my password." Yeah, that's what it is. And your wife, do you think she really would give you a look like? Or you know what? You got a little kid now. You can't have your daughter finding that password. Well, I got a few years before I have to change it. That's what you think. I keep telling myself to change it, and then every time I go to log into my Xfinity, I'm like, "Oh man, I gotta still change that," and I'm too lazy to do it. You're gonna wake up someday, and and then Tatum's gonna come to you. Hey, Dad. Why is this our, X- our Xfinity password? Right. You're going to be like, oh, damn it, I meant to change that when you were one. I'm like, I'm cutting the cord. <laughs> Cable's canceled. Yeah. Oh. One third of Americans are actually hiding a certain something from their partner. You know, like a vulgar password. Uh, <laughs> uh, it's not that. What is it? I'll tell you at 817 on The Rock. DJ and Migs, mornings on The Rock, 99.9 KISW. Spend less time in the laundry room and more time doing the things you love. Introducing the Samsung Smart Top Load Laundry Pair, now available at Lowe's. The washer's large capacity means you can fit more in every load. Plus, its super speed setting washes a full load in only 28 minutes. Shop the smart washer that will streamline laundry day, backed by Lowe's Price Promise. Based on using super speed on a normal cycle with an 8-pound low, terms apply. See Lowe's.com slash price promise for details. U.S. only. 
That's the ease at which you get information. You're always connected and informed. So if you're diabetic and still using old technology and finger sticks, what are you waiting for? U.S. Med carries the highest quality continuous glucose monitors, which provide real-time readings of blood glucose levels. U.S. Med is an approved provider for Medicare and over 500 private insurers. Visit usmed.com slash radio today. That's usmed.com slash radio today and manage your diabetes as easy as... The Russian invasion. The heroic Ukrainian resistance. It's the biggest land war in Europe since World War II. And the war in Ukraine daily brings it all to you. From Moscow to Washington. From Kiev to Mariupol. The war in Ukraine daily talks to newsmakers around the world. And to the everyday Ukrainians whose very existence is threatened. You hear the heartbreaking stories of those caught in the war. But also hear about the acts of bravery as history is being made. I'm Mike Simpson. And I'm Charles Feldman inviting you to join us. The war in Ukraine daily on the Odyssey app or wherever you get your podcasts. 99.9 KISW, The Rock of Seattle. Got a new survey. 37% of people say they have a secret stash of cash. Secret. Ooh. And they're hiding an average of $2,006. So basically, people are just stashing about two grand. Okay. A secret stash. I wonder what it's for. Oh. You know what I mean? Like, what is it? Like, they have a stash for their weed. It's a go bag. To go back, so if they break up, they can get the hell out. Well, yeah, they got all their passports in there, all of the falsified documents, oh, and well, two falsified $2, documents. Wow. Come on, you need to watch all these spy shows. You, everybody needs a go bag. So when you break up with somebody, then it's all of a sudden you just jump into the witness protection program. <laughs> You're gone. You know, you get to go wherever you want to go. I'm watching a little too much Killing Eve. I think that's the problem. Uh, I don't know if I have a secret stash, but like it's like it was like a secret amount of money for like fast food for a while. <laughs> <laughs> I always keep sense. like whatever random dollars. I would just like I would always keep like the twenties and the tens and the fives in my wallet. But if I got like change back, that was like a couple dollars here and there. I just throw them in my glove compartment, and then it was like, okay, this is for when I want to get some uh, get a Big Mac or something or a Whopper. Sadly, I mean, people did it because they, would, they had an unreliable spouse. Mm. I mean, you know, I would say in the 50s, 60s, probably the 70s, some one of the spouses just had to be responsible because they knew the other one wasn't. And so they would stash the money just so that the family could survive in case of any sort of you know, calamity like a rainy day fund. Good point. I did. Uh, sometimes I do set aside money, uh, not this year, right, just because how things have been with, you know, I'm in a newborn and, and just life. We haven't had like as much extra cash to work with, but I would set aside some money from time to time, like uh, whatever it may be from, and just put it like in a in like a envelope, and then I would use it for Christmas gifts. So oh, that's wow. awfully nice. Call, yeah, well, was, I know it's like I'm I'm hiding money so I could spend it on my wife. Yeah, so okay, me, rock right. Look at this humble brag. Uh-huh. You want to go on Twitter or on Instagram with this? Well, no, because it was like I looked like an idiot one time when I was buying her something, and she's like, "You realize that you bought it at Nordstrom's, and your card's connected to my email." So she was getting all the receipts. Oh, and I was like, "Well, that kind of kills the fun of Christmas if you already know what you're getting." So then I would just set aside some cash and. You know, whatever was left over, I'd go to the gentleman's club, of course. Well, of course. Yeah. Well, that's a good call. Though, that way I can help them with their Christmas shopping. Though you've got to be cool. I mean, this year, if you all are tied to the same Amazon account like my we family, you've got to be cool and just not look. You just don't even yep. look and see what's purchased. You know, uh, I erase all the emails that Amazon sends me saying, hey, this was because this is the time of year. I know I buy a lot of stuff, but I also know I may be clicking on something my wife got. Uh, there's been times where she's joked about it. Like, I'm like, I'm going shopping for I'm going to go meet up with Santa. And she's just like, all right, so I should stay away from our bank, bank account for these days. I'm yes. Like, yes. If you don't mind. Yeah. You know, uh, the, the, trust me for the one month that I will not basically drain the account and don't look at it and check up on it. Somebody says I, um, I, I keep uh, a st- Dash for car parts on Craigslist uh, for my 66 Ford Galaxy convertible. Another person, I have $13,000 stashed. Wow. Whoa. Uh, Texter, please tell us why. Like, I, like, look, they, depending upon your financial sort of philosophy, there is the money you save, the money you have to pay your bills, and whatever else needs to be paid for, kids' accounts, whatever the heck. And then what, you know, I've seen a lot of folks do is like the one person gets to have their mad money, their mad money or whatever, right. play money, and then the other person does. There's no reason to hide anything. So I would love to know why. I think in 2020, all right, let's say 2019, because 2020 is such a suck year. Let's just say in this modern day, you should be able to not have to hide money to have money to play with. Don't you think though sometimes it's not even about like, you know they're not going to get mad at you, but you just don't want to deal with even, like, the joking judgment. Like, you know yeah. what I mean? Oh, it's really? like sometimes you just want to be able to purchase yeah. something guilt-free and not have to worry about, 
Oh, another T-shirt with black T-shirt with white lettering on it. <laughs> not that that's me. Oddly No, specific. and not that somebody shouldn't tease you. Well, that's not. I mean, uh, 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 well, because uh, I just recently I impulse purchased a, a hoodie. <laughs> um, well, it's not, you know, it's my friend's company. It's called Wrestling Is Forever. Oh, and here we go. So I love this. So you double dip with I love wrestling. I'm supporting mm. this. I'm supporting my friend. Yeah, yeah, this makes oh, sense. Oh, and it's a hoodie which I like. Well, in all fairness, I, was a, I I convinced myself not to do it, and then I saw on his website it says oh, I only made 22 of these, and I'm like, well, crap, this is going to be a collector's Ooh, item. I might have to. You realize this is the entire behavior of an addict. Yes. Okay. Good. Well, as long as we're at least. <laughs> On the same page yes. with this, I, I'm going to. So I ordered it, of course, and then as soon as I ordered, I'm like, I need to, I need to come break, you know, I need to come clean. And I said, Babe, there's going to be something showing up in the mail. <laughs> if you want, just grab it, hide it from me, and that's a Christmas gift. Okay, so uh, I see that you said that to Danny because you call him Babe. What did you say to your wife? Nah, I, I'm not telling her. <laughs> oh, okay, good. <laughs> Clearly, I need to order I mail to Danny's house. Yeah, that's how it goes. Yeah. All right, well, hey, listen, since we're in such a really jovial mood about all this, would you like to talk about the most common money arguments that couples have? And oh, can you, sure. Why can you guess them? Because I got the top four right here. Can you guess them? T-shirts. T-shirts, number one. Escorts. And, it actually Whoa. says right here, Steve makes his T-shirts and escorts. Actually, the number one answer. Very specific. I knew it. Yeah. Um, well, I, I think it's pretty obvious. Um yeah, I, I would say all. It's actually, I have the top five, and they're all very obvious. I bet if you can't get these, then you have a great relationship, and you don't have any problems with money. Food, going out to eat. Food, like oh yeah, there you go, getting lunch again with your friends, kind uh, of thing. This could be number three for you, Steve, and this could actually encompass food and your T-shirts. Number three being, they believe you're spending too much. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. You know, so these are very general. It's not like going to be something specific like I, you know, uh, so I, I would say that food probably would be underspending too much. Because I think that if you go out a lot or you take out a lot, uh, you know, I mean, granted, 2020, you can't count. I or mean, like, no, but at that point, too, it's like if you go to the grocery store and you buy food for the week and then you go every single day to get lunch out. It's like, well, why are you going? Yeah, every totally. Day? We, we bought enough food for you to eat at home. Well, that's in case the apocalypse hits. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we, can't, we can't eat that food. That's irresponsible. Right. Yeah. The milk that goes bad tomorrow. Yes. Yeah, exactly. right. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, 2020 exactly. has been a weird year. You just never know, Danny. <laughs> All right. So number two is very similar to number three. And it's all about the blame game. I told you that number three is they believe you're spending too much. You believe they're spending too much. He's a winner. Oh, look at that. He got the clue. Well, okay. someone even just texted. My wife doesn't understand the value of a dollar, and she spends it on stuff we don't need, so I stash some in a gun safe and some uh, in a ghost account. Wow. Well, gun safe and ghost account. This guy has a go bag. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to tell you this right now. Dude, I know you no, have a go this, bag. This dude has a bunker. Yeah. All right. Bunkers are great, too. Well, says, I have a secret stash of my wife. In case she decides to divorce me, then I would have the money that, she, that she's not getting. Whoa. <laughs> well. I've heard stuff like that before. Well, I, mean, look, I, mean, look, I mean, history has shown sometimes you lose a lot of money from a divorce. Yeah. you have, As long as you can find a way to have people not know you have that, that's the problem. I mean, because they, the lawyers are really smart, and they know that people do that. But if you can somehow keep it quiet... Good for you. Yeah. Good luck, lawyer, finding my box of money. <laughs> well, Steve, now that he knows you have a box of yeah. money, at least he'll see, be looking for places where you could have stashed that box uh, of joke's money. Joke's on him. It's an envelope of money, BJ. So oh, never find it. Go try to find a box. It's yeah. in an envelope. Sometimes I find it, and I forgot I even put it there. Oh, that's I was like, $40. That's I, awesome. I'm that way about Christmas gifts. Like, I just bought a Christmas gift, and I don't know who for. Oh, because you, <laughs> you buy Christmas gifts year-round. Yes. But I just recently bought one, and it came from Amazon, and I bought two of these. I know I wanted one for myself, and I was like, did I fat finger and hit two, or mm. did I want this for somebody? And I'm like, oh, this is going to be tough. So I'm going to wrap it for who I think it's for, and that'll be fun on Christmas when they open their eyes. They're either going to be very happy, or they're going to go, what the hell is this? And then I'm going to look around the room and see if anybody else would like it. Yeah. And then if not, I might have to bring it to one of you guys. Uh, BJ's white elephant gift. He yeah. just opens it and says, who's excited about this? I bought it for you. Yeah. I, I mean, my, I love that. my wife had an aunt that did this all the time, and I used to laugh going, I can't believe people do this. And then I started turning into her aunt because I thought it was pretty genius. She kept having, she bought gifts all times during the year, but then stowed them away, but then forgot where they were or forgot who they were for. I am now her aunt. It's like that scene in Christmas Vacation where he's putting the, the thing in the attic and then he finds the anniversary gift yep. from like two yeah. years ago. Yeah, it's not good. I love it. Well, dude, right. like you brought up a whole thing, like getting shamed for like spending money on things you shouldn't have. Like yesterday, my wife had, I know it was yesterday, it was 
three days ago, actually. Sorry, my bad. Every day seems to be just blending together. We went to Macy's. Right. And, oh, yes. And I, I wanted to buy a Bob Ross Chia Pet. And she... <laughs> And shut it down. What is wrong? With oh you? come on! It was either the Bob Ross or the Chewbacca one. So we settled on Chewbacca. No, I'm kidding. We didn't settle okay. on either. She thought Aww. it was a stupid purchase. And yeah. you know what? And honestly, she's right. Yeah, oh, I know she's right. I would. I, I'm, I'm right now. Like your wife and I are simpatico. On every time you tell me stories about how she reacts, I go, "That's exactly how I would." And I'm just if mad I was because. Next to you. And I'm mad because it's like it's Bob Ross. It brings you joy, and you're growing something. It's not a happy little chia pet. Look, with the new house, I figured it's a new plant, and then Bob would look great on the on the one of the shelves. <laughs> and first of all, yeah, there's this chia fro. It's, it's amazing. It's a brand spanking new house where she probably wants nice things, and you're like, "Hey, let me throw a chia pet in there, Bob Ross style." And she's been like, "No, that's not going to make the cut." Nothing nicer than all the frame pictures of us from the maternity session and the baby pictures, and there's yeah, Bob Ross. There's Bob Ross. Yeah, he fits right in. All right, Chewbacca then. Maybe oh, Chewbacca so. would have been a much better choice. He totally. would fit right in. Yeah. By the way, the number one thing is something we all can worry about, uh, and that would be debt. That's what we fight about oh. a lot. Yeah, we do. I mean, I feel like that was kind of me and or like one of my problems with my ex-wife was that I was like, we're in way too much debt. And she's like, no, we're not. And I was like, no, we are. I'm telling you we're in too much debt. Right, I'm looking like, at the numbers. And she's like, no, no, we're good. And I, we would just have this constant. She never wanted to do anything about it. And or was she like, oh, we're, I'm good. You're in debt, not me. <laughs> no, Guys. it was both of us. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. The best moment of my <laughs> life, Danny, and this is why I tell everybody to get a financial advisor. The best moment of my life was my wife, and I love her. I mean, she's a wonderful. <laughs> she's oh, wonderful. My wife is a fantastic person. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. I don't you mean to be this. a jerk, but I'm just saying. But when it comes to money, it's not her strong suit as far as knowing really the value of it. And so to have the financial advisor, after listening to her, like go on and on about all of her financial plans and the, and the moves that she wants to make, and the financial advisor literally saying this, it was the greatest moment of my life. Literally just looked at my wife after listening to her for a half hour and was like, are you smoking crack? <laughs> I mean, for a financial advisor, like normally a buttoned up person to say this, my wife, just the look on her face and I just was, I felt so good. Like, thank God. It's not me. Somebody at least who's credible when it comes to money and this is what they do for a living. And just basically told my wife, yeah, you don't, you have to know that this isn't your strong suit. Let us handle this stuff and you'll be a happier person because no, we're not going to go do all these Ponzi scheme things. Things that you think will make you like you know five hundred times your investment. I don't understand why you can you think that she makes bad financial decisions when she thinks someone's just going to gift you guys a house. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, she's. I know she's. Well, I mean, if you believe you can achieve, true. Oh my god, you can't I win if thoughts. you don't play the lottery, I right? Mean, she's. I mean, I've had to stop her from going into a random bank to meet strangers to give them her social security information. Oh, that's her, bad. I know. What? There's no, no she safer thinks they're going to give her stuff. Like the world's going to give me, but they said they're going to give me five hundred times back my investment. So here's my pin. But last week I went to Bank of America, gave a random guy my social security number. They opened up the safe, and I walked out with money. It was great. What are you talking about? Right, see, sometimes see, it works. It's because you guys just assume the worst. Sometimes yeah. people have good in their heart. Yeah, they sure they do. <laughs> so it says I tell my wife we have less money than we actually do because she's not capable of staying on a budget. Well, sometimes that's a good thing. Yeah. I mean, uh, I, I appreciate that. Look, and there's nothing wrong with if you do not have the ability to do something. That's what's so great about a relationship. But you got to at least be honest about what you're good at and what you're not. And and because that's what really hurts is when somebody like, you know, Danny will say, look, we have no money. It's a negative balance. We are in way too much debt. No, we not. But we like, have okay. credit cards. Yeah. It's like, no, you. OK, no. All right. Yesterday, Steve. He did get this one wrong. What is the full first name of Simpsons character Ned Flanders? Ned Drick Flanders. No. Ned Defer Flanders. No. Neddy Flanders. No. Nedifer. You sounded like Dunlap there for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, at least he had a, a yeah. weird delay in his headphones. Yeah. Well, you know. Uh, Ned Lumen. No, no, Ned no, Lumen. No. <laughs> Lumen is his name. Yes, uh, Nedward, uh, if you can believe that. Nedward was, uh, yeah. Anyway, if you'd like to beat Steve, you have a shot. You have a shot. Two zero six four two one Rock. We're playing Beat Migs at eight forty seven on the Rock. Today's podcast was brought to you by Travis Gagne, bankruptcy attorney. He's here right now and has agreed to answer more of your questions about bankruptcy. How do I figure out who my creditors are? Now, people a lot of times have had a lot, a long time of not having good credit and having collections, and so they, they're concerned that 
Uh, you may be concerned that you, you won't be able to find all your creditors if you file bankruptcy. How will I know which collection agency has my credit card bill from 10 years ago now? Uh, and that's that's something that's hard to keep track of when because credit collection agencies transfer your debts all over the place. But we will pull all your credit bureaus, and by getting all three of your credit bureaus, we'll be able to tell who has your credit and debt now, uh, which collection agencies have had it in the past, and we'll make sure that we file all your creditors when we file your bankruptcy so that nothing slips through the cracks. Thanks, Travis. If you have more questions about bankruptcy, you can reach out to Travis anytime at choosetherightchapter.com. That's choose the right chapter.com. Thanks for listening. Spend less time in the laundry room and more time doing the things you love. Introducing the Samsung Smart Top Load Laundry Pair, now available at Lowe's. The washer's large capacity means you can fit more in every load. Plus, its super speed setting washes a full load in only 28 minutes. Shop the smart washer that will streamline laundry day, backed by Lowe's Price Promise. Based on using super speed on a normal cycle with an 8-pound low, terms apply. See Lowe's.com slash price promise for details. U.S. only. That's the ease at which you get information. You're always connected and informed. So if you're diabetic and still using old technology and finger sticks, what are you waiting for? U.S. Med carries the highest quality continuous glucose monitors, which provide real-time readings of blood glucose levels. U.S. Med is an approved provider for Medicare and over 500 private insurers. Visit usmed.com slash radio today. That's usmed.com slash radio today and manage your diabetes as easy as... 